Cam's Corner. A couple of Cam's Cam's Corner. Corner. <laughs> but you have to contribute every week. A couple That's of right. Kirk's throwback. Yes. Are you going to be a? Are you going to be a, um, a weekly contributor I, now? No, I got. I got to go completely under the radar. I got to just hide away from everything for the rest of <laughs> the next three years until Funkin is done. That makes too yeah, much sense. Say, that's a smart idea, though. <laughs> All right, no one, no one can bring up Friday Night Funkin. I've had no enough one. internet interaction for the next ten years. I think. I don't blame you, man. <laughs> Damn, shout out to you joining Twitter for 10 minutes and then uh, disabling your account again just to call out that, that fake account pushing that to you. I'm making money off, off my uh, my brand. My brand. <laughs> oh, I didn't that see that. That's scummy. scummy. That's so <laughs> scummy. You know, do. you know what we should do? At the end of the episode, we should all deactivate our Twitter accounts. Man, so uh, sorry. I can't do that. I, I only can't have do like 400 that. I, I, I kind of need mine. For no what? One needs Twitter. Okay. Welcome to the New Grounds Podcast. Today's episode hosted by Will Comer, Voices by Corey, Zinzinix, and Ninja Hockey. I did it. You did it. I he made did it. it. Wait, wait, can you hand me an uh, intro? Yeah. With special that. guests. Hello, hello. It's been Pico Day. Pico Day is over, and now welcome to the Newgrounds Podcast. Hello, We're hello. All here live on a Friday night at 9 p.m. And you like uh, Pico Day. Yeah. I like Pico Day. <laughs> we got Zinzinix here. Oh. Everyone's happy about Zin being here. And fresh from viral Friday night funk and fame across the internet, please welcome Voices by Corey. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> the TikTok Whoa. star, famous for the impersonation of a character in the game. Also, just, Ninja Muffin is here. Just Jeff. Excited for that. <laughs> how, how, is that how is that TikTok fame, Corey? Dude, it's fucking wild. <laughs> I, I have some amazing <laughs> fans. Like It's it's no joke. I, I just crossed the 35,000 follower threshold today. Oh, not, not too shabby. Not too shabby, kid. Not too shabby. It, it's all because I jumped on the mic and I acted as I acted as if I was Jeff. I said, "Oh, hey, it's me, uh, Johnny Utah. Uh, just checking in to see if you guys have played Week Seven of Friday Night Fucking." <laughs> and it blew up. And then I said, "Uh," and then everyone was like, "Holy shit, <laughs> he sounds like Jeff," or "It is Jeff." Holy shit, because <laughs> a lot of people don't. His a voice, lot of people don't. You're moving yeah. him. Yeah, he ranked, <laughs> no, he ranked no, top no, no, characters no. in Friday Night Funkin' too. He ranked them just like Jeff would. And it yeah, was I good, did. Actually. It was pretty good. Because everyone, everyone was saying like, oh, you, you need to rank the Friday Night Funkin' characters as Tank Man. I'm like, okay, number 10 is Boyfriend. Stop simping, you <laughs> blue-haired freak. That's really but good. It, <laughs> it, it's, it's been really fun. You know, I, I have some really good uh, fans who've been engaging and they want to hear more than just uh, uh, my... Captain and Steve impressions, which is really cool. They've also asked me to do Skid and Pop, Sonic. Uh, your salad Sonic. fingers, your salad fingers is on point. You should do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Noodle, Noodle, who's um, um, a regular here in the server. They asked me to do um, uh, like a breakdown of how I do my salad fingers. So I broke it down and I told them how to do Ugh. a salad fingers impression because the feeling of rust against my salad fingers is almost orgasmic. Oh. That's ridiculous. <laughs> you should have you should have just been like Cam and ate eight Pringles on screen yeah, or on I mean, video. It's, it's so easy to get TikTok famous. You, you you're working too hard. You're putting, you're putting too much effort into it. You just need to make some bullshit at two AM. Well that's that, right. that's that's kind of like how I kind of well, I pretty much got all the followers. So I did the the video where I talk as Jeff saying Friday night fucking. And then somebody responded in the comments saying, can you just say UG? So I go, <laughs> you want me to say UG? Okay. I just said UG. Was it good? Was it, did you like it? Did it live up to your expectations? No. Ugh. And then, then boom, that blew up. And it was like, holy shit. Like within a 20, like a 24 hour span, I accrued 5,000 fans and that video had over 150,000 views. I'm like, holy shit, dude. Nice. And nice. It, it's been crazy and it's been really cool. Like it's nice to finally get my voice out there, you know, a little bit further than just, you know, Newgrounds and and Twitter. Yeah. So it's it's been really damn cool. 
Yeah, and cool. and I make sure I make sure every single time I say I am not Johnny Utah. I am not Jeff. I'm not the voice of of Captain and Steve. I'm putting that out there. I'm not taking credit for that. Everyone's been pretty cool though. They've been saying, "Hey, it doesn't matter. You're a great voice actor." I'm like, <laughs> "Thank you, guys. I love all of you." It's shit. All right, it's so all right Corey. All right, Corey. Let's make sure you're not a fake fan. What is your favorite Pico Day submission from this year? Did you enjoy Pico Day? I did, man. Pico. Uh, I love the one that. Um, uh, was this what uh, Wanda Boy put out? Uh, where it's just Pico Day 2021, where Cam actually did the intro, the yes. little collab. That one was really, really freaking cool. And then Credit. there was I'm here to talk about that too. Jeez. Yeah. And then there, there was one where um, I can't remember the name of it, but it was a buffed out Pico and uh, a buffed out boyfriend. And <laughs> it's basically boyfriend having a dream. And he's just talking like this, I'll roll it out and buff. <laughs> and, and Pico's just like, you know, you never, you'll never lose me. I'm always here for you. <laughs> and he wakes up. He, he wakes up next to a girlfriend, all crying. He's like, did you have the dream again? Yeah, I had the dream again. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember who the the animator was, but it was really good. Um, yeah, I think, there, I think so, that was for Friday Night Funkin'. Though. I don't even think that was for for Pico. Oh, no, no, okay. it, yeah. it was Pico. It, it was Pico Day. Day. It was Pico all Day. Right, all right. That's, that's been cute. such a problem for me too. Is like it's the the Funkin' Jam and Pico Day blends together so much at this point that it's like it's all just for what it is at this point. I couldn't. What I would probably bring to talk about is going to be about the Funkin' Jam, or it's going to be about Pico Day, or it's both. It's all just globbing together in the yeah. best way. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, like one of the, it, it was cool because um, it, it just showed more creative sites. Like there was one where, you know, week seven kind of just, it, it did flip the game around, of course, with like the cutscene. So there was a submission for Pico Day this year where somebody put together a whole like cutscene style of week three with Pico. And it was so damn cool. You know, it had uh, uh, Darnell and, and Nene also. It was really, really cool. I really love that one. That one was really awesome. It was well done too, and they actually uh, reanimated um, uh, the animations during the song. So they actually had all three songs playing from week three, and um, had the you know all the arrows coming through. And I'm pretty sure it was synced up to what you did, Cam. So it was actually really yeah. cool. I like that one too. Awesome. I'd have to say my favorite was Pico's Initiation by CMY2K. It goes through yeah. this, this yeah. really like almost oh, yeah. like flash rendered, like kind kind of a retro. I'm going to say tribute to the old animation style of Pico. And he, he fights, he fights Uber kids to this music and it, it's a loop, but the way the animation is carried out is so fluid and, and it loops perfectly. And it, it shows Pico winning over the Uber kids and the Uber kids taking control. And then it, he wakes back up and does it all again. It's so, it's so fresh in that kind of style. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know it was a loop. I watched it like three times before I realized it was looping. (laughs) Seriously. So Pico with a gun. Very very original content, but just the way they did it was was impressive. So definitely everyone should check that one out if they want. Will, you got a favorite? Did you guys play that Madness off color game? The like Pico in Madness, the Madness combat? What? No, I got to play that. That sounds awesome. It's by Stepford. It was released um, very, it was released for Pico Day 21. It was released on like, it was released on May 1st. It was released like two weeks ago. And it is actually like a kind of full fledged game. It has cutscenes that are done in kind of a comic style and it has like menus and the gameplay is very smooth and it runs well. It's a good game. I recommend it. You mean Stepford that made Gun Knight? You mean that Stepford? Oh my I think God. it might mean Stepford that um mean that made Gun Knight by Stepford, which is They're what it's kind called. Of good. They're kind of really good. <laughs> the game is called Gun Knight parentheses by Stepford. <laughs> Very yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Cam, did you play any games for Pico Day? Mm, Pico Clicker. Uh, yeah. Pico oh, Pico Clicker. Shout out Pico, Pico, Pico Clicker. Clicker was awesome. Milk Bar Jack, bro. Hell the, yeah. That old milkhead. That damn milkhead. Damn milk bar. <laughs> Not doing good. God. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Pico, Pico Clicker. Clicker high score. What's your Pico Clicker high score? Dude, uh, I think I got 10,000 and I was using like an auto clicker, so I'm not a real fan. Uh, not, not even I'm valid. sorry. Not and then even realized, valid, bro. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> the highest one's 100,000, right? Or is the highest one a million? I think it's 100,000 is the highest one. And after seeing how long it took to get 10,000, I was like, there's no fucking way I'm getting 100,000. No. Not even for the clout. Like, I'm good. I don't want the fame for that. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of it's not even something you want to be known for at that point. I want to find mm. out who actually got it, who actually went through and got it. They deserve at least some kind of shout out. So mm. 
Let's find them real fast. Uh, first users to unlock, and really the only user is fuck off asshole. And he got it 12 <laughs> days ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's surprised. so great, dude. <laughs> Shout out to fuck off asshole for being the only one to get the, the 100,000 clicks on Pico Clicker. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I think I think they're infamous for getting the first medal on a lot of games. So there you go. As yeah, yeah. as good as so, so many of these things were for Pico Day, God, I want to talk about that collab with Wanda Boy and Snackers and uh, yeah, a whole bunch, whole bunch of crew. Stagger Night, Magic Wanda, Bubble, Snackers, RGP Animus, yeah, yeah, Animus. If the only animus. we had someone here that could talk about it. If only there was oh, someone in the crowd. No, harm. Minecraft. Who the hell Who is, is that? that? <laughs> I, I've re- finally returned after six months of absence. Hello. Hello. Oh, taking a hey. break from the school life. Are we RGP animals <clears throat> to come hang out with us? Is that what's Not happening? Not the only one. Not the only oh, it's one. It's me, uh, Ryan. <laughs> Planet Kelso. Planet Kelso. Wait, I want to talk to that Planet. one. <laughs> that one, how are you doing oh, it's, today? It's me, Stagger I'm... Knight. Also known as Spares. No one calls me that. Uh, hi. <laughs> no, no one calls me that. Also <laughs> known as we are. It's Fire Fist 9000. No one calls me that, though. <laughs> so, when did when did this collaboration come about? When did when did you guys even um, make this? Because I saw nothing on this, and then you guys uh, come out with this uh, I, can give you, well, I can give you the rundown. Look. I can give you the rundown. Kalen just sent me an invite out of the blue, and I was cool. like, "Yeah, sure, I'm down." And, and that's that's how it began. We made our own little Pico awesome Day. Story already. The, that was uh, the rundown. Um, yeah, <laughs> the, uh, rundown. Yeah. the server was opened up on the uh, 25th, and uh, I can't remember months. March is March behind March. us or ahead of us? All right, March. March behind us. <laughs> March 25th is March when the server about. was up. It was March, yeah. And uh, that's we opened up the server. The rules were just, you know, Pico Day, and that's what we did. Yeah. We all made Pico Day stuff. It was really cool watching people uh, craft their stuff because it's you know watching it from the ground up build up. It's cool. Exactly, Getting little whips here little and there, works and progresses, and like just yeah, just seeing the progression from like you know these like little animatics like finished stuff. It was really inspiring, especially with um. Especially with Maggie <laughs> Bubbles, but like that one was just that was yeah, theirs is so yo. good. That so, guy, I didn't even yeah. know about that animator until this, and now I'm going back and looking at all the stuff. That I've known him is. since like that Hotel Mario reanimate because I was originally <laughs> going to be in that. Was that and then, yeah, yeah, that was like his like breakthrough thing. Who got, so, who yeah. got picks on what? Who got dibs on what? Like who called out for what section first? Or did you I don't guys think just we magically anything? We, yeah, okay. No, we just like we were just able to choose whatever. So like, I know for my bit, it yeah. Well, it was like Meat Boy. I was originally going to do a Fancy Pants cartoon Ooh. where he's like, you know, he's like, yeah, jumps out of bed, looks at the time, and then he goes on an adventure, whatever. And I actually did like ten seconds of an animatic where it's literally just that bit, but I wasn't really happy with how <laughs> it turned out. I just you know just felt a bit too flat because I mean mm-hmm. stick figures, whatever. So yeah. I scrapped that animatic. I, I mean, I'm, I'm still sort of, I'm still interested in like you know continuing it. So I might do it later down the road. But for now, I just wasn't really happy with it. So instead, I made it a Meat Boy cartoon. And but this one, I wanted to like you know push my skills in terms of composition and like perspectives and like all these like camera angles and shots. And yeah, so I just started cool. off with like an animatic uh, early on. I got like a good friend of mine from college. Uh, the name is like literal hat on Newgrounds, and like they were on board in terms of like you know doing additional animation just like helping me get it you know finished by the deadline and yeah and then later on i got like it was a digi like really good ba- like artist you know good friend of mine like you know, oh, for backgrounds. Man? yeah digi digi yeah, yeah, yeah. they're nice. really good <laughs> also, yeah. also RGP, you might have had the only cock joke unless Joe Megas had one too. I think, no, I think Joe, <laughs> Joe didn't have uh, uh, unless you count like the uh, the image in the back of uh, the EDP. <laughs> oh, oh my <laughs> no! Is there an Easter egg? <laughs> no. Do you want to know the real the real lore of the collab? Yes. 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 Can you explain some of it, please. Top 50 list, Newgrounds rankings, untouched, past 10 years, right? right. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh my uh-huh. God. Sell it to me. 
Friday Night <laughs> Funkin' comes out, smash hit, right, right. All all the boys, all the shoot shoot to the top except Kawhi Sprite. Except Kawhi Sprite. Why is that? Why is Kawhi Sprite left out of the top fifty? Why list? is that? Why is he we left out? The, we get to the bottom of it. You to get on that on that ranking list, you actually need a submission on the on the portal. Yeah, so whether it's like or movies or if it's a movie or a game. Oh, yeah, yeah. So so the, essentially it was going to be just like, hey, you know, whatever collab, you know, just like last year, just like Pico Day collab 2020, just make whatever bullshit you want. Uh, and then we're going to like make Kawhi Sprite like the, the project manager so that he gets <laughs> that one submission so he gets in the top 50 list. And that that's like... That, that that was kind of that where it's like yes we need just the plot to get him <laughs> into that list but he's the not in the credits <laughs> yeah i didn't know he was involved at all he he wasn't but we we eventually made a different submission we made american <laughs> penis we made american <laughs> penis a masterpiece uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, right. instead of the pico day cartoon we'll just we'll make you a part of american penis you know yeah. it's just yeah. a second <laughs> nothing's more american than penis <laughs> he's getting the exactly. true initiation into Newgrounds. i mean you can't be a part of Newgrounds if you don't do anything penis related that's just a given fact that's true mm-hmm. exactly like, like the pico day thing, no one else was doing anything like that so i was like you know what i might as well might as well take the plunge and there you go <laughs> I don't think I've done anything penis related for Newgrounds. I don't really feel like I'm. I feel like I'm. My passport there, isn't fully stamped yet. I don't know well, what I'm going to do. You just reminded me there was this one really good Pico Day cartoon by Artist Unknown. Hold on, like say, do you know what I'm talking about, right? Not yet. You've like explained the, the nothing. It's like <laughs> What's the, the joke? The two, the two tank men are just like. Hold on, let me find it. Oh, is it where they're two? They're just two giant cocks. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. I, I, sh- I shared that with everyone I knew. I was like, "Look at this! It's so good!" It's <laughs> they're just, they're just two unknown. giant cocks, and then they uh, like, uh, and then they lean into each other. And he's like, "What docking now?" And it's the <laughs> best. <laughs> Aussie accents. They they have Aussie accents, I think, or or English. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that is my great. favorite Pico Day submission. Wasn't wasn't Post Boys uh, Portal Defender Tankman? Wasn't that a euphemism for cock jokes? Where like Captain's yeah, a big it, a big robot, and then uh, yeah, it no, was, no, 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 no. He just had a wasn't really big like garage. It, so it's like, wow, you have such a big tank. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was a playoff of uh, Tom's old um, Cockman um, spoof from back in the day. So it's literally Tom's original audio, but Post Boys just. Tank, tank, <laughs> tank. Yeah. It, it it like that. I was laughing like, so hard. It was so good. Yeah. I love that. Wrote, one. That one. He wrote it in the description. But it was originally going to be a lot more ambitious with like uh, <laughs> like an action scene. Like it was going to be like a full on like anime intro. But he wanted to get it like done in time. Yeah. So instead, he made the segment like more comedic. And it was just like a spoof. I want to do is- more <laughs> stupid humor like that. It's my favorite. Same. It's the what best. Is that actual, what is that original Tom parody called? Like, if I was going to link it right now, it's what's like, the actual title? I think it's like Tank Man 3? Or something? Okay. It's yeah, like, it's something like Tank that. Or like cock, like it's supposed to be like a fake like sequel. Like, uh, cock joke. It's a, it's, a, a, it's a bait and switch. A whole, a whole era of like fake Tank Man 3 <laughs> sequels, and that was one of many. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Now, as okay. everyone's being Fists of Fault by Danny Goodshirt, is that is hey. that two out there? It's really yes. good. It's like it's like uh, it's Tom Fault is Bruce Lee, and he's told he can't pass by into this area because it's for corporate people only. And then Tom ends up kicking ass, and oh, Big Texas Tony did some animation for it too. <laughs> it was impressive for for as crazy as it got. Yeah, and, um, and, and your boy did some voiceover work in that. Oh in yeah, that Corey, one too. Yeah, well, you did some voiceover work in there, didn't you? I did, yeah. I was the tank. I was the tank. <laughs> <laughs> did you not know that? That was all me. That the tank. heavy engine whirring? That was him. Right. That was just me in the background. Uh, that's funny. For an, a solid hour, I had to record myself going... <laughs> hey, it was easily the best it. audio in that entire animation. It was spot on, Will. 
Thank yeah, you. Round, round of applause. Some of all the hard work everyone else did. Your engine sound, <laughs> superbulous. But, I'm so glad. Really, you know, especially from you, <clears throat> Peacock Star, that means a lot to you. So thank you. It's very nice. It's stupid. What, what I really love about that animation is it was only a few animators who, who were busting their ass. It was, you had Broson, you had Harpy Carp, um, you had Kute Comics, um, and who else do we have? Um, I think Danny, uh, we had... Uh, Gray animations on there too. Um, Nick Sandy did some voices. Uh, I think we had G- Harpy Carp was the Eagle Raptor impression too, wasn't he? Yeah. Be- uh, no, I I did Eagle Raptor. I was Aaron. You did Eagle Raptor. That was a good <laughs> yeah. Eagle Raptor impression. Thanks, man. Not- oh, all right. Whoa. Just try- I was trying to emulate yeah, a whole bunch right. awesome shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love his oh, awesome love cartoons. Are great. Like, yeah, it, do it, that in public area. Everyone's gonna look for Eagle Raptor instantly. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> so, can we talk about like the Secret amount of, su- of submissions that happened this year? Because yeah, art before- specifically. Well, well, art and, was well, stupid animation insane. wild still. Art art had over a thousand submissions. Is it? God damn, as, which is crazy and awesome. Quoted. Now the the prizes were obviously bigger because of a certain game getting fucking huge. The <laughs> Last, last year there was like less than one page worth of submissions. This year there's like yeah. four full yeah, pages like, of animation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I no no. I could count the amount of like Pico Day movie submissions using my two hands. Like it was ridiculous. Pico Day was struggling. It was I'm on glad the, uh, I'm glad the site's getting attention. So much good stuff happening. It's great. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, man. Absolutely. It, it, it's really good. I think out of all the bad shit that happened in 2020, one of the best things that happened out of it was just the resurgence of new grounds. You had more Boy, people yeah. who were stuck at home and it gave them the time to, you know, attempt something that they wanted to do, but they felt they never had the time to. So we saw more animations. We saw more games. We saw more art. We heard more music and the site began to flourish again. And then, of course, you know, Friday Night Funkin' comes around and boom, you have Pico in week three and it just blows up even more. And even, you know, Skid and Pump being there in week two, it just brought more attention to the site. And it's just continued to have this resurgence that, you know, all of us love because we all know how awesome this site is and how supportive it is of everyone. And that's ultimately what you want to see. You want to see the site flourish itself and just continue being this platform where everyone can just be as creative as they possibly can be. You know, it's really cool. Yeah. I, I, I've, I've loved seeing this whole resurgence. It's, it's very touching because, you know, yeah. Tom and Tom and the guys, they work so hard to keep the site up and running. And especially when it did crash yeah, <laughs> for the crashed. short amount of time, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah. Him, I wonder who psycho- that was. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. Yeah, how, th- how, how was your, uh, <laughs> how was your day if that day came? <laughs> Oh, I'm sad. Whoops! <laughs> Shrug, shrugging emoji. <laughs> Are we talking about yeah. Pico Day or we're talking about the crash? Oh, yeah, <laughs> the crash. Week seven. Awesome. Yeah, that, that, was was awesome. Awesome. that was a good joke. I slept like two <laughs> two hours that night. That 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 was a wild experience. I slept two hours that night. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't sleep <laughs> after I crash new grounds. <laughs> no, I mean, I, the night I, before, and I yeah. before all the all all the launch, and it was like it was weird. Or it's like. We posted it, and then literally in like two minutes, Newgrounds was down. Uh-huh. <laughs> so it's like, it's like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Were they trying to like get to you and be like, hey, help us out? Like, there's was there something you could do from your end to help anything? Was it just like, what hath I rot? <laughs> <laughs> like help Newgrounds or whatever, like when it crashed? Yeah, I don't yeah. know, I guess. Uh, Bren, no. Bren was like t- talking to me like, hey, is there... Is there any way you can, you know, compress certain <laughs> files or whatever? Because it was like, <laughs> you know, the game is definitely like big for a web game. It's like, yeah, almost like 200 megabytes, which is a pretty hefty web game. Yeah. Um, and that's like, it's like, it's like, damn, damn, Brad, I mm. can't do anything. I can't do anything. <laughs> I was going to say, do you think the website will have like, will increase like the upload capacity, like for games or whatever? Or we'll just have it I as think, it. I think already it's like a pretty hefty upload. I think it's more of like yeah. I remember like when um, no, I remember when um, yeah, Spaz Kid uploaded the that Rena Chan cartoon or the Street Fighter one. Yeah, like he like it is said like in the credits like he got Tom to like actually change the upload limit and make it like bigger 
because yeah. the flash file, the movie was so yeah. massive. It was so long that it just wouldn't be possible unless he just like did like an L SID and just converted it to video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm typical uh, Newgrounds fashion, the community changes Newgrounds rather yeah. through yeah. the best means or the worst means. Of- <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. Typical Newgrounds fashion, one of the highest ups of all of it is kind of like, scrappy and friendly enough that they're just like oh you need something done let me just change the core of the website to yeah. get that because why not you know we're there we can do speaking it speaking of changing the website for a little while like for a few days pico day cartoon was like the highest rated submission on the website yeah. that was awesome which that is really cool awesome. that's nice yeah. <laughs> nicely done nicely done I'm gonna like, i think it's like yeah gone down I touched the highest peak just for a little bit <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like if I go to like best of all time and I scroll down, where is it? It's like I don't know if it's even on there anymore. Oops. No, it's not. Uh, that was uh, ridiculous. The post boy, <laughs> like the post boy cartoons up there, the Friday Night Funkin' one. I'm really yeah, curious really if uh, uh, the launch for F and F. I was really curious if they uh, like doubled up on servers. Like, yeah, there'll be a lot of people showing up. So let's. Uh, Anticipated, no, it just no, got like no. blown <laughs> over like way more right. than they expected. I we, hope that's we, what we, happened because that's we were hilarious. Talking, what second I was asking is if they were like, okay, we can prepare for this, let's get yeah, two yeah. more servers, and then it's like, yeah. we need 14 more servers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we thought we had it. Damn, Damn it. Josh, Josh was talking to us, and he was like, well, as much as Friday Night Funkin does good for new guys, they also do shit like this, and then we had no backup <laughs> plan, and Cam just launched it with no heads up, and we we're Listen, just stuck here. Like, what the it's, fuck? it's like <laughs> exclusivity. It's like, it's like false scarcity, okay? It's you get that FOMO. <laughs> How so? Yeah, like, new here. Grounds, new grounds they, would not have been trending on Twitter if... The site didn't crash. That's hilarious. Um, okay. Then they brought yeah. it up secretly and didn't tell anyone. People had to find it by accident. And be like, oh, it's back up. I've been really yes. enjoying the yeah, memes. Yeah, yeah. All of this has spawned. Has, mm. has anyone <laughs> listened to the music for Pico Day? I just posted my favorite art for Pico Day. It's by Health. It's this awesome Ugh. testament. And it looks like a mur- mural. And Tom Fault was like, we should get this painted on the office ceiling. It's really fucking good. I oh, haven't wow. listened to any of the Pico Day that's music. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah, so th- that's, that's a bit depressing. Go how? Tara, Tara Vex put out a track uh, for uh, Picon jo- uh, Pico Joan. Oh, Picon Joe. Oh, yeah. Picon, 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 Joe. Joe. Picon Joe. They're back. The, They're back. Picon Joe's alive. The, yeah, he, he posted the, the full original soundtrack for it. And oh my God, it is fucking awesome. It, it's him and, and a bunch of other Newgrounds composers collaborated yeah. to put this OST together. And it is phenomenal. Holy cow. Like he, he's easily become one of my favorite composers on the site just because he keeps putting out solid tracks Terra almost yeah, every he's week. Consistent. He's awesome. I'm with oh, you on Terra that. We should have him on the show. Oh, well, maybe we might next week. Who knows, right? <laughs> maybe, maybe we, we, we may. Week. We, we may. And maybe for Shooto Man, I, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> By the way, if it, if anyone's looking for a good um a good like origin video. It's by Two Left Thumbs on YouTube, and they're like they're a huge like Newgrounds proponent. They're actually helping Dead Estate as a publisher, and they're Tom Phelps, the one that referred Milk Bar Jack to Two Left Thumbs. So if you want to learn a That's lot cool. about Pico Day's origins, you can look up that video by Two Left Thumbs. They're, Graham they're cool is people. a good man. Uh, Graham is a good man. He's so a good here's, man. here's a question for everything. Do you think at this point? I mean, this Pico Day was obviously miles huger than any other for a long time. And, you know, Pico is always kind of a sticky part of Newgrounds' history. Do you think this Pico Day kind of started to work to recontextualize Pico more as, like, not just Newgrounds reckoning with its past of doing a, a school shooting game <laughs> back in the day? Like, I now I know that Pico wasn't the one shooting the school. We can talk about how it was him saving the day. But, should have been. <laughs> <laughs> but like, oh I guess all I'm saying is like I'm seeing a lot more messaging <laughs> oh, nowadays about him shit. in a way that's not related to that kind of old school 2000s edginess and we're kind of moving past it. Do you think this is a new era mm-hmm. where we're kind of working to recontextualize Pico and kind of make him something else or kind of move on? Hell no. No? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Uh, at, at no point would you ever find Tom Fulp apologizing for Pico School. Like you might see, oh, like it was it happened after Columbine as almost in a response to it, but it was it was never meant to be like a jest at school shootings. Yeah, and right. 
So you you'll never find a, a reason to recontextualize Pico ever. That's what he told me. Yeah, what would he tell you, Cam? Because you know him so well. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Let's bring in Bacon. Let's bring in Bacon. Let's bring in Bacon. He's newer to Newgrounds. Let's see what he thinks. Pico, I mean, Bacon, Pico's what do you think about Pico? Pico? What do you think about Pico? Uh, Pico is cool. Pico is cool. Um, the shooting I think school, right? Or preventing a school shooting, right? It's, it's, it's true because it rhymes. There you go. <laughs> That, well, that was a very insightful bacon. What do you think about Pico? Besides that, he's cool. What do you think he stands for? What does Pico stand for? What do you think? He's like the the image of Newgrounds. It's, it it might have been like one of the main things that started like the whole character trend on Newgrounds. That's what I like to think. I can see That's that. True. Yeah, There's I a can lot see of that. Newgrounds has a like tradition of having mascots and characters, and he's probably the first one. Yeah. 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 There you go. And he's he nice to draw. People- yeah, it gave some people to something to latch on to when thinking about Newground instead of just like yeah. some things that they have on the site. It, it gives it a little bit more of a personality, I'd say. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I don't think that Tom should apologize for it. I don't think that he shut up the school. I like, I think he was, he's, I think it is right and it is what it is. I was actually kind of more saying that this is the first time in a long time I'm seeing more people online outside of Newgrounds talk about the fact that he wasn't the one shooting the school and he was the one that saved the day and talking about how the fact that like he doesn't have the quite the edginess that, you know, he's not the bad guy and it's not a, a icky, toxic message. He's actually been good and people are starting to find coolness about him. Because yeah. back before this, I mean, look, it's people inside Newgrounds liking him but then i would see the outside internet only seeing him as school shooter bad that was a bad joke it's only now that it's he's had more recognition and funkin and stuff that people are starting to to work past that and to see that he wasn't the bad message people thought he was maybe is that better i yeah, guess I, I don't think anyone yeah. ever saw him as a bad message though i don't i think, I think people just Newgrounds saw did. a kid in school with a gun and instantly thought school yes. shooters oh Ex- exactly. i mean it's like yep. most yep. things yep. people don't look into it until it's big and then people go oh don't we look stupid but, <laughs> and that's they it. drop See, that's it or they keep pushing yeah. it one of the two yeah, yeah. yeah. Now that and, he's bigger, people are starting to actually look at it and say, "Oh no, he's not that. That's not." True. Yeah. Now, now that it, we're even like, it's it's stupid. It's the. It so, all even... right. Well, let me ask you this, Will. Yeah. What what route would you choose in Nene Interactive Suicide today? Oh shit! Wow, that's hard. I would choose the one where she um goes and uh starts taking night classes and then becomes she gets educated she gets education she becomes a paralegal <laughs> she got she buys a house that's that ending's in there right pretty sure it is small <laughs> the the nene there there i saw on tiktok there's like a video that's just like nene's interactive suicide and it's like the road where it's like she's just spinning by the fan and it has like uh, almost fifty thousand likes and it's like all these like tiktok kids just like oh gee aesthetic and like Weird, where it's like these kids <laughs> rediscovering what edge is <laughs> and being like okay with it. And it, it is weird. It is weird, like phenomenon to see. Yeah, all these like TikTok kids here. Let me send an awesome screenshot to be understanding like, oh, of boy. what edgy is and understanding yeah. the, the content that. So like the, the, the newest simulator is finding a new audience and a new generation of young kids. That's like what it is. Yeah. And you, and you, you think it would be put in a negative light because it's about suicide and like killing yourself <laughs> or whatever, you know? And it, it's it's yeah. weird. It is weird to see that. And then Darnell, I guess he just he's a pyro maniac. He just sets things on fire. <laughs> so I don't I don't know if they're in bad lights though. I mean, what, would you? I mean, I looking think beyond people Pico, see it for what it is. Well, I think uh, people see it for what it is. Isn't that isn't that unique though? Don't people normally see it for? Whatever they what can, they think it is. Yeah, latch onto yeah. and and pinpoint is either cancerous or toxic. Like <laughs> it reminds me of like uh, like Always Sunny in Philadelphia. All the main characters are the worst human beings ever, but they're so yeah. enjoyable and you love the characters. They're great. Yeah, like a lovable, <laughs> world, like a lovable asshole. Similar type thing. Yeah. Okay, I'm with you there. Now, now, what game do we remake though? Because. 
I've seen Pico versus Uber Kids by Tomb Dude, who's killing it, by the way. After Mad Sisters Week Off, they're, they're like killing it. The NG game came out of nowhere. The Pico versus Uber Kid remade in Pico 8. Kind of badass. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, you have, you have Dungeon Nation. You have Dungeon Nation remaking Pico versus Bear right now. He's almost oh done with that. Oh my god, yes. That game is so hard. I hope it stays like as hard <laughs> as shit as it was. Well, yeah. the cool thing is, like, I've been, um, cause I'm, I'm a part of that project. Like, he's been updating the file on, on the Newgrounds project file. And, yeah, you know, I've been playing along with it. So there's more than just two levels. Like, you know, you kill bear the first, or you shoot his arm off the first time and you go inside the house. And then you have the little bear and you're trying to fight him and you just constantly die. Well, now he's added more levels to it and made that second level beatable so there's more to the game now and it's really cool and we we recorded some voice dialogue for it and it's more interactive and it has like a nice little story to it it's actually really cool like we're we're really excited about getting it out there because we've been hyping it up and it's going to be pretty damn cool like we're really excited about it that's awesome That's, that's beautiful pico sim date is my answer, by the way. That's already, <laughs> the Pico, Pico Sim Day 2 is already in production by Moosh. I, lo- I love Moosh. No, isn't that Pico Sim yeah. Day 3? It's 3. It's 3. Can is right. <laughs> Pico Sim Day 3 cool. is already in production. Thank you. Well, I'm part yeah, of the Yeah, less Patreon. than 3. <laughs> and get 4. Get 4 already, even though it's not out yet. I just go to 5. Who knows? Yeah. And make just it just keep skipping numbers. <laughs> Well, you've been doxing yourself lately. You said Frank's Adventure too. I was gonna say, I was gonna say Frank's Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you seeing a pattern? What are you talking about? I'm just saying, <laughs> is, your, is your right hand readily available right now? <laughs> 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 oh man! Uh, I thought I said in the last one I used both. Newgrounds Rumble. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I'm uh, looking up Chamber. Mind Chamber. Mind Chamber. When is Newgrounds Rumble? I saw you. I saw you ask. Oh, if I were to remake it, uh, would you want it in this style? This style or this? Like, come on. My oh, yeah, that's quit, right. quit playing with us, man. Quit playing. <laughs> I think it'd be pretty yeah. cool just to see something like that. <laughs> I want Chef's Choice. <laughs> I want Chef's Choice. What I want would you play. like? <laughs> what would just you make, it, make four different games. Just just do it. That's what that's what Tom did in uh the first Pico Day. He made four different games. Just be like a Tom. bunch of mini games, make like a WarioWare style thing where it's just like 50 mini games that are all the same <laughs> new ground <laughs> rumble theme. <laughs> You, you know, know that actually could be a pretty cool little Pico Day project where people like made a Pico wear or something like that. It could be like a game collab. I wonder if that yeah. would work. Ooh, that would be it, really it probably cool. Could work. Yeah, like a it's tiny. Like you you are a game developer. You make a tiny mini game, and then you send it and make make it small. Please, God, make it small. And then like you send it over That's to uh, Ninja Muffin, who I'm nominating now, to <laughs> stitch them all together into one big kind of collab. With a menu, you can play any of the games. This has got to happen. That's fun. That would be really yeah. freaking cool. I'm not gonna let that would be that would be like a big step in gaming on Newgrounds. That would be really freaking cool. Yeah, I think that would actually promote a lot more game playing on Newgrounds. I, I think yeah, people playing the games on Newgrounds is starting to be few and far between, just because it's a time commitment and some people's computers can't handle it. Let's yeah. get this going. Let's start this little Newgrounds micro game phenomenon. I'm ready. I'm making one yeah. already. <laughs> I'm making well, one you, right now. You can't program. He's making Frank's <laughs> Adventure 8. <laughs> With my Frank's right hand. <laughs> Frank's <laughs> Adventure 8 by I'm Will Kummer. I'm making Pico Frank's Adventure all together. <laughs> Wait, I got, a, I got a good myself. question. I got a good question for Bacon. Bacon, what's your favorite Pico Yo. Day art submission? Uh, one of my favorites is Pea Kettles, because I feel like they did my idea, but better. Your idea, but better. What's it look like? Give us, give us a visual representation. Uh, it's a bunch of Newgrounds characters and little original characters by other people on Newgrounds, like in their own little scene. That's really cool. Oh, I uh, see it right now. Yeah. You, uh, you guys feel, have two different styles, though, for sure. Yeah, but I feel like they did what I was planning on doing, but a little bit better because every single character is sort of interacting, and where mine is That's just cool. like characters kind of existing. Oh my god, it is beautiful. It is beautiful. Drawing Newgrounds characters has never been so much fun. Now now people can just draw Newgrounds when, when they have no ideas. You can pick yeah. from like 300 characters. Like, just make your pick. Yeah. It don't even matter. Just pick. Oh what is a Newgrounds kind of legacy mascot that you want to get brought back into the spotlight? We've gotten Pico and Tank Man back in the spotlight. Who's next? Hmm... I would say Alien Hominid. Taking notes, guys. Alien Hominid. Taking notes. Yeah. Alien Hominid. People in chat are saying Hank, Hank, Hank. Salad fingers. Salad fingers. The dot. Me. 
Dad and Me would be cool. Dad and Me is awesome. Yeah. I love Dad and Me. Dad and Me remake? When? Dad and Me remake? When? 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 Uh, give, the give, dot, me, give me on the, the team. Give me on the, the dot team. dot from dot 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 would be cool to see. <laughs> have, its own, dot, have its own <laughs> cannon. Yeah, that'd be the sweet. Dot. Is that game with a bunch of V's in its title? Is that a, is that a new oh, that's, thing? Oh, yeah. V. Oh, 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 v, 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 v. that game's that's by that Edmund game McMillan. Sucks. It's so hard. Oh, it's by Edmund McMillan. Oh, yeah, totally. That. Yeah. Is it? Love I'm Edmund McMillan. I'm not, what game are we talking about? I might be thinking of It's like seven Terry Kavanaugh. Terry Kavanaugh. Yeah, game's right. Wait, wait. So Time Fuck was Edmund McMillan. Time Fuck was Ed McMillan. That was a stellar game. They got the same characters. I want that again. I they have the same characters? Well, I look like an idiot now? Thanks. I'm sorry. Good night. I'm sorry. You lured me into a comfortable chair. You pushed me over. my fault Cam uses Google. Come on. Who did the music for that? Didn't someone famous do the music for that? I have no idea. Am Crickets? I famous? Nobody did I do the music oh, for that? Man, what am I talking about? <laughs> so, okay, I wait, speaking of famous, back in 2006, uh, Pico School remake for the first Pico Day was by Dead Toast, who made my my friend Pedro. So that's that's some origin story right there. Oh, wow, no kidding. So, that's pretty cool. That's a cool fact right there. I'm. What else? Who else participated in the early 2006? Uh, Bomb Tunes, who made Castle Crash in the Beard, was also, he made like a Worms spinoff for Pico Day. It's kind of cool. Your Pico throwing Ooh. dynamite at Uber kids. You did a Chibi <laughs> Night, right? Yeah, or Super Chibi Night. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, you made yeah, yeah, yeah. it. I'd Use love to see Jimmy Knight show back up. I grew up on Jimmy Knight. Love that shit. I think he's working <laughs> on a second one or, or Super Chibi yeah, He's Knight. doing something. I don't remember yeah. exactly, but that's pretty Bomb cool tunes. though where's he at he's doing something right now we just want to know he's what he's watch it it's gonna be the wrong guy again i just know it <laughs> no <laughs> it could be like no it's bomb o tunes i'm like oh oh no i saw are we are there uh any uh animations from like way back in the day on pico day or like even involving pico that you can remember that kind mm. of influenced you a little bit because i can remember what is it by Johnny Utah a Pico epilogue where he made them into like anime characters and they had like a fight scene. Oh, I, I remember that. Yeah, oh, yeah, I remember that, that one. That, that is epic. That is one that I loved a lot. But, does Pico uh, does the dating sim count as an animation? No, well, no. <laughs> I mean, it has. I mean, it moves. <laughs> yeah, it moves. <laughs> and it, it moves and jiggles. <laughs> 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 By the way, Pico, Pico Dating Sim 3, I've seen developer logs on it. You can adjust the sliders and it'll open her legs. Like, is there... <laughs> I've always wanted Actually. dynamic leg sliders. <laughs> he, he oh my god. I love Moose so much. Can there be a um, button that makes him jump up and then when you press it, they do the jiggle physics just like that one one? <laughs> Yes. Wait, hold on. I have a really good yes. question. Cam, Cam, you had yeah. an idea, right? Because obviously it was on the Kickstarter. If you were to remake, or if you were to make Pico School 2, what would it be like? Because there were betas Cam. in the past. Yeah, give us we your pitch. Have time yeah. follow consultation. Follow, the, follow what Pico School would be. This The, 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 the thought of Pico School is a very, very thoughtful social commentary on a very tragic event and do it very tastefully, just like Pico School did. <laughs> and, uh, so, much like how Pico School was about the, the Columbine shooting, I think Pico School 2 would be like, what, what, what's some awesome tragic event that we can like, Awesome, tragic awesome. event. <laughs> 9-11 I don't know. is what everyone's saying. California Vegas. Coronavirus, there you go. Yeah, Coronavirus. a very tasteful Coronavirus, yeah. uh, comment on <laughs> Pearl California Harbor, California fighters? Pearl Harbor. <laughs> Pearl Harbor. <laughs> Pico goes back in time to Jeez. World War II or whatever. <laughs> Pico School 2. Pico does a very tasteful educational segment on the Rwandan genocide. It touches all of our hearts. <laughs> oh, God. And educates the minds. <laughs> it will be just as tasteful as Pico's school. And then how do we, how do we, how do we like fit it into Fortnite Funkin'? Some, there will be like a shitty mini rhythm game section in it. Just so, <laughs> like the weird self-insert, basically. Yeah, with well, you, yeah. with the character too. of you. Just names him up and is there. <laughs> was, was Pico's school 2 going to be about 9-11? Was that what that one was? Um, I can't remember actually. I looked, yeah, it all I took looked... place on the roof of the uh, building. 
Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah. I, only, I only like briefly I remember like the first <laughs> like three minutes of that demo that Tom has. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. They're just walking around to school. I don't I remember. I haven't played it in a while. You go to Back school in New York. York. And the exact same thing happens. It's just, <laughs> it's just a reskin. <laughs> it, it's just a different location. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So here's something. Do you think that like... Okay, Friday Night Funkin' has brought Newgrounds to this level it's at right now. Do you think there's going to be more that follow in the footsteps and that also kind of elevate Newgrounds from now? Or is Three years from now, are there going to be like six new mascots to Newgrounds? Is it going to be completely different? I mean, yeah. Ma- like, the is this the start is of something real. huge, you know? The magic is real. If it can happen once, it can't happen again. Yeah, it happens. I mean, what's, what's stopping anyone? And it, it's like Friday Night Funkin' is like paving the way where it's like... Now, now it's easier than ever for another thing to come along and become a mascot like that. Where it's like, mm-hmm. yeah, absolutely. You know, Funkin was was in a, you know, Newgrounds was like kind of building up to that point, I guess, of Fahrenheit Funkin, where it's like slowly kind of regaining slight relevancy. I don't know. So I, I do think it is. I do think it is possible. Magic is real. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Real talk for a second, Cam. How does it feel to be involved like that? <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. Like, how does it feel to have had that impact on it right now? Uh, it feels. Listen, it's just, it's just, we're just trying to keep it out here, keeping it real, just making awesome new grounds game. I think it's like, you know, me, me and Fan Arcade, at least, you know, we both have like kind of hung around new grounds for the past few years, and like very much work towards, you know, something like this, making something that like brings a lot of attention to Newgrounds. And I remember it's like just talking to him like, yeah, this is kind of what we just want. You know, it's like he he's he does a lot of the like kind of big collabs that bring a lot of the attention. And it's like, yeah. you know, Friday Funkin like happened, you know, like a month after the Final Fantasy collab came out. So it's like <laughs> it's like That's you true. know just kind of one after another one after another you just keep on swinging and eventually you'll get the home run does that do you feel like that's a bit what it was you just kind of like you threw you threw games at the wall and one stuck like this is the one that just kind of happened to take off but it could have been anything else or like friday night funkin had uh had a spice that nothing else really had and it kind of launched from there I think it did have a spice, but also it's like, I think there's a lot of things that have that spice, but you just need that random, like, almost random chance where it's like, oh, you know, it's like Ritz, you know, look, go back to Ritz, you know, it's a mm-hmm. charming little platformer game. And yeah. before Corona Funk, and it had like, you know, 10,000 views, but now it has like, you know, <laughs> over 200,000 views. Yeah. Just from people like discovering it partially through Funk and partially just like, on its own of being like a charming game. So I think it's like there is submissions that are on new rounds that definitely could have been, yes. you know, uh, the thing that brought, cause it's like, you know, I don't think Friday Night Funkin' is like particularly crazy, unique, especially when it came out, you know, it wasn't like crazy innovative. It wasn't like, it was just the right place, right time, I think. And I think, yeah. So now, now there's like a better chance for things like that to kind of have that spark lit. I think. Yeah, you're saying it's kind of like literally the spark that like causes the bonfire. It's yeah, like yeah. once that That's sparks, spark. now everybody sees it, and now they're seeing all these other things. That what you're saying is like a lot of other things on Newgrounds could have that spice that we're talking about, and when they see that, suddenly those things could have fan bases, and those things could have communities, and suddenly people get really into this and that. It's already in the site. Yeah, and then it just kind of like piles into yeah right yeah yeah shit like that where it's like you know it's like you know just keep on hitting that keep on hitting that flint against the steel until the those random ass sparks hit the tinder just right so yeah fire metaphors I'm yeah, into all, it. All, all, it, all it takes is making something right jesus yeah, just keep yeah, pointing shit out there making shit cam ever since friday Night funky came out even josh's old games have gotten a, a shit ton of views in, in reference to pico i think it's just Easy. fun to explore the site and find fun things you just need that that one thing that lures them in and anyone yeah. can make it like right now i'm looking at the background art and you got you got fig burns uh God, I can't remember his his game names. I'm I'm, I'm an idiot. But you also have <laughs> it's it's like that neon fucking game. Neon rhythm. 
Oh, neon, neon rhythm, rhythm, thank you. Neon, yep. neon rhythm. You also have the Connor Grail and, and Matt Ugg pair up with Melty. And then there's just all these other cool little interactive games that 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 I don't know. They're just fun. Like you see people drawing them all the time. You just need something to to lure them in to view everything else on the site. So yeah. Everyone gets a working. I mean, I mean, I think if anything, this inspired people to post their shit on Newgrounds because you're seeing so many more submissions, so many people who who come to Newgrounds now and just dump all their art, dump all their games, dump all their animations off now. Yeah, and it's very true. Important. Like they see the value in it now. Just being yeah, able to cool. collaborate. Or like, you know, there there have been games that, you know, were from Newgrounds people, you know, among us being an example. But it's like it feels like you know Friday Funkin is definitely like very tied to new rounds even before you know Pico came out yeah and it was just kind of like skin pump and it was just like even then it was like you know just because of the way that the kind of team is me and Phantom and Quizbird and Evil Skater you know very very in touch with new grounds and the new ground scene it's like yes this is a new grounds game this is a game that happened the way it is because it's cool on new grounds. So yeah. you, you know, you, yeah, like that. You know what I like about you and Phantom Arcade being gone and Quiet Sprite being gone is that like now there's this vacant spot for people to rise up and be the next like animation collaborator. Because without Dave heading like oh let's say Super Smash Bros collab or Dragon Ball Z collab, like there's there's a spot. You know, for like other people yeah. to to get in there now, and I think that's important. Like, obviously, you guys are gonna be so busy on Friday Night Funkin'. I can't imagine you're gonna have much time to be as interactive with the community as you were before, unless you unless you right. hella surprised me and come out with I some. Mean, Kawhi Sprite, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> like, Kawhi Sprite's definitely trying to hide away. <laughs> <laughs> Kawhi Sprite's avoiding everything. Right? A little, a little yeah, Frank Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> like okay it's hilarious but this is also something i've been thinking about with you guys a lot it's like you guys joined as a game jam team and yeah. it's this now like how is that do you guys like each other <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> like seriously like what is it like to have this team that you kind of had together for this tiny project to be now like your career making like your huge thing Listen, it is just the homies. It is. I, I really cannot stress this enough. Where it is just like, we're all just like bros. We're all just. It all just like magically, you know. Kawhi Sprite. You know, it's like I chat with him on Discord very regularly before and after Friday Funkin happened. You know, yeah. the only one is like Evil Scare. You know, I I didn't know Evil Scare before I made Friday Night Funk like. Like I met him right. because of Friday Night Funkin'. I was like, "Hey, let me work with this kid that has twenty fans, but his art is awesome." <laughs> How you freaking know, cool like, is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now he's oh, now he's like top five, top ten in the site. Oops, Hot that is shit. So terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> what have we done? His like his like latest news post, and it will continue to just like age like wine. Is just like you know, a few weeks after Friday Night Funkin came out, he's like. Hey, all 100 of you Newgrounds fans, I've made this Friday Night Funkin' game with Ninja Muffin and Phantom Arcade and Quiet Spray. And we're going <laughs> to keep on working on it and hopefully it'll be cool. And, anyways, thanks for reading this, guys. And it's like, it's, <laughs> damn. <laughs> so yeah, sweet. It was just you have big boy. name Cam, who's been doing collaborations. You got big name Dave doing collaborations. Quiet Sprite, big ass fucking musician on Newgrounds. You got Evil Skater that came out of nowhere, just designed yeah. boyfriend yeah. and became iconic. So you could. It could be the smallest addition to whatever you need on new grounds, but you can make such a large impact. I think that that right. I, now that I'm thinking about it, that's so important to think about that that evil skater is such a small fan base that hasn't really done much. I, I, from my own personal perspective, it hasn't really did as much collaboration as you guys. But then, boom, he finally does a collaborative piece with the team, and it, and it blows up and it shows yeah. off in a big way. And that's it could yeah, be you. Newgrounds. It could be you. Who it knew could him? Be. Like who, it could be. Who got that pull, like, for Evil Skater? Uh, I, I was talking to our, our, our boy, Kid Brute, and Kid Brute knew Evil Skater. I asked Kid Brute if he wants in, and he was busy, and I was like, hey, check out, check out my, my boy, Evil Skater. You know, he's down to do 
He's we did this. We did this interview. Well, you know this. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just curious. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Let's He's move making on. him reiterate. Let's we move can. on. What is this? A Friday night fuck it, fuck it interview? Let's I guess we go down. I know. I know. So, <laughs> so do you think? Do you think nude grounds would be a good idea today as a subscription based <laughs> yeah. to dog <laughs> nude yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. Technology it. forward. Get rid get, of Patreon. Get nude grounds. <laughs> nude grounds. <laughs> It's spelled N E W D, nude grounds. I like that. Mind chamber back. It'll be his whole salary. Will be nude grounds <laughs> working on it. I'd like to. Uh, I, I'd like to think more than half of it is not even uh, new drawers. Just regular people. Like, hey, <laughs> yeah. hi. I'm, I'm just getting money. Hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I've, been, I've been thinking about that a lot though what if Newgrounds had paid for content like what if you what if you instead of having people join your Patreon like oh you, for like a like it's a gum road I guess like oh for a dollar you could get the NSFW version of this drawing just make it really easy for people because I mean, I've been wondering the how- most popular Patreons ever are the ones that say here's a cute person you can see them naked for five dollars yeah yeah it's what, true. <laughs> that is what, if it e- money. what if it was as easy as like a one dollar click or whatever you know like I, I, click. well i've been thinking about you like can pay uh, new grounds gold how to yeah new grounds gold bring that back grounds gold i've been thinking about how to make money generated for the yeah. content on it because tom wants to move to ad free so i'm just curious like where any type of revenue would come from i'm just wondering if like a paid for system would work yeah. for, even for like games you, you know, put 20 bucks into it's... like 200 Newgrounds bucks and then somebody as a creator can make something that you would unlock for 10 Newgrounds bucks and all you have to do then is just press the button to do it. Wow, that sounds a lot like it's like cam girl tipping to me now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the future! <laughs> but not that think, that doesn't work. I wouldn't know. I think the easiest would be like just like even just like a simple donate button of like, hey, you know, you like this? You know, toss it. Toss it a yeah. dollar, toss it two dollars, yeah. you know, it's like... I mean, Twitter did it. We have to beat Twitter. We have to do it better yeah. than them, because it doxes you <laughs> if you give them money. <laughs> I've always wanted to be doxed, yes! Oh, yes, yes, I want to be doxed! <laughs> let's yes. go! Let's, let's, let's fucking go. New ground, number one for not sharing your information. So, yeah, definitely like a that's site to be. Apparently hard now. <laughs> God. What other kinds of new grounds coming? New d- noodle grounds. Noodle, noodle grounds. grounds. Noodle noodle grounds. grounds. Yes. Yeah. Different pasta. Every noodle pasta day. by everyone. I like linguine. The, in- the entire <laughs> I love front spaghetti. Page. I love spaghetti. I love spaghetti. It's just really nice drawings <laughs> of noodles. Yeah. Very photorealistic. 3D Wait. models. All the movies. Just like rotoscope, just there's people the- eating noodles. <laughs> there's different categories. There's a spaghetti portal, a linguine portal, a pesto portal. That'd now be a good somewhere. April gag. That would be good. Yeah. Or blue grounds, and it's just like blue people. Right? <laughs> blue grounds is good. There's a oh, huge <laughs> shift layer on everything for the entire day. <laughs> everything is orange, it's just hue 180. Now it's orange. That's a new Halloween yeah. event. Boo grounds. Boo, boo grounds. grounds. Boo grounds. That's boo grounds. grounds. Yeah. This is why bacon look gets at. the bucks. I like that. Grounds? I don't give money. I don't. I don't ask for money. Wait, hold on. Did Tom Falk come up with anything for this Pico Day? Did I? Did I miss that? Did I, I miss don't know. Tom, he spent time I don't with think his so. He spent time. I, I think that's why it was shifted off of his birthday. That Pico Day was on May first instead, so he could spend yeah. time with his family on Pico Day instead. <laughs> yeah, like that's okay. Geezer. Fair enough. I mean, yeah, <laughs> like an old geezer. <laughs> yeah, you're laughing. Sure. Your family. I, I hear the pain in your voice, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Spending time with the family is always fun. <laughs> Trust me, it's one of the best things ever. All right, all right. Maybe we should close the show out. Maybe we should we should create our own new grounds original character right here in this chat. Yeah, Ooh. chat. Give us some ideas. Help us out here. We're gonna do this. That's a good We're idea. We can't just make Sonic again. We can't make Sonic, Sonic twice. People are saying Sonic. No, <laughs> not Darnell Sonic. Two with a not Sonic. To <laughs> Sonic Two. He just exists. has taller hair. It's Will Smith with taller hair. <laughs> Listen, I'm more of a Darnell Two guy, but that's just my opinion. Zuka. I like Red Cat Sonic. Cactus. Somebody said that. Fat Mario. Uh, <laughs> always guys, down to do Mario. Mario. What if it was Super Mario, but he had a big fat blunt? <laughs> whoa, That's what, never if, been what if he had a before. mushroom and he got high? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a funny cartoon. Quick shout out to uh, the maker of Super Mario Bros. Z. He, he finally came out with uh, episode three. Yeah, uh, Alan Earthworm. Oh, oh, Earthworm. Yeah. Ooh, okay. 
So good. Note to self ah, for so future good, guest. So oh, so future guest? Fat Drake. Fat That's Drake. what somebody says in chat. That's pretty good. Fat God's God. plan. It's God's plan. Um, uh, I'm not seeing a lot of good ideas, so maybe we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll have to come back to this. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to keep on going. But if somebody posts a uh, doodle in the next couple of minutes with an original character for us, uh, then it might just make it. It might, might make it. Ma- well, I see a smiley face. <laughs> see a smiley face. Well, yeah. While we wait for people to draw things, thank you again, Cam, for coming on. Uh, Stagonite, yeah. love you. You're the best. Love you too, man. I missed your voice, bud. I did. Um, I'm back. I'm what? back for the peaking cackles that I'm known for. <laughs> <laughs> This is super loud. Welcome to Cam's Corner. Yeah. Awesome, Yay! awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's see. Uh, there was an awesome. This, this is the, sh- the episode of Cam's Corner where I talk about a video game I played on Newgrounds. That's true. Is it? And that was the end of Cam's Corner. No yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 this game. It's just. It's it's called it's I came for it's called KK or Kaki Cake. I was just like a game, game, but it's got <laughs> cute, and very cute, and well done art and music. Uh, oh, I'm turning this on. And and oh. you stack up the cakes, see how tall you can get it. Don't don't oh. don't f up. Uh, stack the cakes. Uh, I know. I know. Mogi one that was talking about like making a game with Korea, where she and it looked like she was holding a cake. I thought that would be a cool idea. It's like that that old retro game where you stack cakes, except it's Korea. It's super yeah. stacker, but with cakes. Yeah. There's that's a recommendation. End of Cam's Corner. End of Cam's Corner. It's over. Corner. The second game. Take them off the damn stage. This was fun. I miss all of you guys. <laughs> I actually miss all of you because I haven't been on that much lately, and this is good for me to be back. I miss it. Will, how's your kidney stone? It, <laughs> it was gone. I went to the doctor, and it was gone. The doctor said, there is none. Where did it go? What? a little, like, pee move around in my it's, body and said, oops, that's working normally. Where did it go? I don't know. It, it's in but, Zen now, like we said it would happen. <laughs> that's oh, right. Zen has the kidney stone now. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it magically yeah. it went into Zen. <laughs> <laughs> and I want it back. <laughs> thank he you to our back. patrons. Our pat- hey, thanks to Bacon for being on the show today. That was fun hearing his voice. I like it when patrons come in yeah. and participate. Yeah. Hello. Uh, Hello. Uh, that was awesome. Back out. Uh, when do we when do we shout out to the patrons? I'm gonna do it right now. So you get the list. I'm I'm stalling. Dan, uh, well, oh, people liked it when we did it like different volumes. So we have we have patrons. Son, Cliff Mark, <laughs> Teresa, Boozle, Zachary Jones, Bacon, Gardley Guard, Great Team Bins, Fourteen Kids, K1D, Corey Gingrich, Spectre Lee, Commander Ken, Sykesiori, Kevin Polo, Tom Fulp, and Cortex G. He's a new hey, one. That was not a big volume change. Well, what are you Sorry, saying? I can only you're like, oh. you're like oh. read it just read it fast. Yeah, just read it really fast. <laughs> okay, this, place, this place got a budget now. This place got a budget now. When the pitch Just doesn't happen. better. Yeah, you got it. Oh, wait, you left the show. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of made a game. I was busy Brutal. making a game and saving new grounds. I was, no I, was selfish. Getting, I was at the chiropractor from carrying new grounds, okay? Yeah. <laughs> His right. spine is just dust. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Oh. Corey, do a cam it's- impression. Oh hey, I'm I'm Cam. I'm the creator of Friday Night Funkin'. I'm, I'm just badass. Just, you know, yeah, yeah. You just uh, I'm one of the creators of Friday Night Funkin', and yeah. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the New Grounds podcast. This show is recorded live on our Discord server. Join us at bit.ly slash NGP Discord. For the latest news, follow us on Twitter at the NG Podcast. Thank you to Waterflame for the use of his song, Gabberfly. Goodbye.